What's up everyone? Today is going to be my May TBR, which I hope you love my new background because I rearranged the living room and the dining room and I got this new shelf from Ikea. So now I actually have my favorites on this shelf and I have my TBR down here on the lower shelves. Let's go ahead and get started with my TBR. So I only have two books currently right now that I know I'm gonna be reading in May. The rest we're gonna be choosing together here on this video using the prompts that you guys left me in my last TBR video. So if you're new here and you don't know how that works, I always ask for you all to give me a new new prompt in this video. So comment it down below and whatever you comment down below is going to be used for my June TBR. The two books that I have actually picked out to read. This is from my reading to zero list. So the books that I currently own, I'm going to start with the Patreon buddy read. So if you didn't know, I have a Patreon and you definitely should join a tier in May because here in May, May is my birthday month, by the way, I'm turning 30 this month. And if you become part of my Patreon in May, or if you already are a member within May, then I'm actually gonna be sending everybody a special bookmark for this month. So it doesn't matter if you join just my $3 tier or if you join one of the higher tiers where you also get gifted a surprise book, but every single person is going to be getting a special bookmark. And this bookmark is only gonna be available for the month of May. So the link is down below if you're interested and depending upon what tier that you join, tier two and higher, you get to be participating in the buddy read. And this is the book that we're gonna be buddy reading for the month of May. This is The Perfect Wife by J.P. Delaney. I have read other J.P. Delaney books and I thought they were decent. I thought it was pretty good. So I am very interested in this one. I believe this is kind of like a sci-fi thriller. Abby awakens in a daze with no memory of who or where she is. The man by her side claims to be her husband. He's a titan of the tech world, the founder of one of Silicon Valley's most innovative startups. He tells Gabby that she is a gifted artist, a loving mother, and the perfect wife. He says she had a terrible accident five years ago and that through a huge technological break, she has been brought back from the abyss. She is a miracle of science. I think it's like a robot wife or something like that. Very, very, very much interested in this. And we usually do a Zoom book discussion as well. So there's lots of fun things in Patreon if you aren't a member yet. Okay, the other book that I have on my list, this is actually a Bible study because I realized in my reading to zero, I actually have, I think, two Bible studies on my shelf. And I'm planning on like getting my shelf finished like by July. That is my plan, you guys. I think I'm gonna be reading a lot like while I'm at the beach, so I think I can really knock this out. And whatever books I get gifted for my birthday, I'm actually gonna be saving for after reading to zero. So like I am not allowed to pick from those books. They are turned backwards, hidden, whatever. <laughs> I'm currently trying to make it through what I have on my shelf that's been there for years. The Bible study that I'm gonna be picking up is Jesus Always Leading a Joy-Filled Life. And I will be doing some videos on this over on my main channel. So if you wanted to kind of do a Bible study with me, you could head on over. I'll link it up above. Um, but this is just a Bible study. There's like um, questions and stuff. So I am counting this as like a reading to zero book because I owned it. All right, there's usually a patron book pick, but I actually, I'm doing this TBR like kind of early. So I haven't even gotten that book together. I'm now gonna bring up the prompts you guys gave me for last month and we're gonna go ahead and pick some. Okay, I have my phone recording. Here we go. All right, prompt, read a book by a BIPOC author. Okay, I actually have two that I know of. Without doing any more research, these are the two that I have. So Dread Nation and The Wife by Alifar Burke. So I think I'm gonna go with Dread Nation because my friend Pam has been wanting me to read this for like forever. Um, so I'm gonna finally put that on my TBR and we're gonna read it. Okay, let's pick another winner. See what else we're gonna read. May prompt, read a book with a one word title. Oh, I believe I had that prompt like once before. Once I'm done with reading to zero, I'll probably move my books like all in here. Um, but for now, they're, they're down here on the lower shelf. We actually have a decent amount to choose from. So, Survivor, that's a one word title. We have Hostage, which a lot of people have said this is good. And I read that airplane thriller last month and I've been interested to read another one. We have Rock Pools, which I, it's a psychological thriller. We have Cultish, which, well, actually, is this part of the title? 
this might not count. I think that's it, but I think I'm gonna pick hostage because I feel like going into this would be really good after reading the airplane thriller that I had last month, so we're gonna do this one. Okay, here we go again. May prompt, equal amount of letters in the book title as your name has. Whoa, okay, should I go by Jackie or Jacqueline? Like, my channel is Jacqueline, but people that like know me, I usually go by Jackie. So Jacqueline is J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E. -E. 10 letters, and then Jackie would be J-A-C-Q-I-E, would be six letters. 10 letters. Ah, <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Dude, there are so many that have 11 letters. Thought this was gonna fit. I thought this was gonna fit. Nope, they have 11. This has nine. This also has nine. What the heck? Guys, I'm actually struggling here. 11, 12. I honestly think that, okay, so what if we do Jacqueline Wheeler? Or Jackie Wheeler? Okay, so Jacqueline was 10, Wheeler, W-H-E-E-L-E-R is seven. So 17. One, two, three, four, five, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, 15. Who even knew? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <sighs> Hardest prompt ever, guys. Okay, my full name, Jacqueline Wheeler. 17 letters, if I counted that correctly. This has 17. So, Stranger in the Lake, I believe that this is, it says a domestic suspense. So, I mean, we love a good domestic thriller, right? Okay, next prompt. May prompt idea, book with a plant on the cover for summer. Okay. All right, books that I have with plants. Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. Always watching my Chevy Stevens. <laughs> and The New Husband by DJ Palmer. This is really hard, but I kind of want to read Always Watching because um, number one, <laughs> I'm laughing because I've literally read like five Chevy Stevens books and only one of them was a five star and the rest were like one, two, and three stars. But I was gonna unhaul the last two Chevy Stevens books that I had, but they actually sounded good. So this one is in the lockdown ward of a psychiatric hospital. That sounds amazing. So I'm gonna pick that one. Let's pick four more because I have the Patreon book pick. Okay, May Prompt, a book you bought strictly because of the cover. Well, I don't really think I bought any of these that I currently have, but let's just pick like the one that I think has the best cover or like the, the cover that I really like. It's this one. Not that I like love, like there's like this alien thing, but I love it because it's a bunch of different colors. I it also mm, it matches my shirt. Where was that prompt at today? I like that it has a lot of colors because like these are actually like some of my favorite books here because they're like blues and teals. Like this is like just one of my favorites. I don't know why. Like I love the actual book, but then I also love the cover. And then I also love like the sparkly on me by Elton John. <sighs> this is like favorite book of all time. Um, but anyway, so this is a book I haven't read yet and I just really like the color and the color scheme of it. So we're gonna pick that one. Okay, here we go. May prompt, pick a book that begins with the letter M to read as May, starts with the letter M. Cool, what do we have here? I am not gonna count the in this because of the fact that like I don't have that many books left. So we've got The Mother's Mistake, The Marriage Pact. Okay, so these are my two for M. The Mother's Mistake and The Marriage Pact. I think I'm gonna do The Marriage Pact because I almost unhauled this, but I keep not unhauling it because I think it's kind of like a secret society cult kind of thing. So we're gonna try and read that. Ooh, that's a big book. Okay, here we go again. I just love like getting prompts from you guys. It makes my job so much easier. May prompt, read a book with a face on the cover. Okay, it's actually kind of amazing how many books have faces on them. Um, probably because I'm a thriller reader, but there's actually two, like two of these are not. First off, we have A Little Life, which I've been putting this off for so long because it's so big, 
but I do really, really want to read it. I just feel like I need to like have the time and not be like, you know, trying to do other things like, you know, not working. So I believe that this is a book that I'm definitely going to read in June. Then we have Just Married by Kirsten Modglin, which... I totally forgot to say that obviously I'm gonna be reading The Missing by Kirsten Modlin for Thrill to the Weekend, because if you didn't see that, the readathon is coming out. Um, it's May 27th through the 29th, I think. Her books are really short, so I could go ahead and just, you know, knock this out. That's a good contender. Then we have Rock Fools. This has a face on it. We have Believe Me by J.P. Delaney. I'm already reading a J.P. Delaney book this month, so I don't know. And then we have Intuitive Eating, Anti-Diet, which would be really good to read this month because I'm planning on being pregnant and it would just help me be able to intuitively eat. I'm really feeling the intuitive eating one because it's nonfiction and it's just really easy for me to like keep my genres like, you know, doing all kinds of things in a month. So we're gonna go with intuitive eating thanks to these lovely faces. Okay, May Prompt, a book featuring a mother as a main character. Oh my gosh, that is so cute because I'm gonna be a mom and Mother's Day and all that for me. Cool. The Mother's Mistake, that is, I mean, that literally has mother in the title. But there's also The Empty Nest. This one is more of like a wife that's having a hard time bonding with her child. This one is more of a grown up one. So I think I'm gonna pick this one because it's more like of a baby ish. We got. Or TBR minus um, the buddy read for Thrill to the Weekend Readathon because I don't currently own it yet. Oh, I love it! I love just seeing how like random my TBRs can be every month using the prompts that you guys pick. So we've got two nonfiction. If we don't count like the buddy or the the Bible study here, we have intuitive eating and cultish, which I love having some nonfiction every month. And then we have like an apocalyptic, which is dread nation. And then we have like the airplane thriller. We have like a sci-fi ish with the perfect wife. And then we have like three, four, well, four ish domestic thrillers. Um, the marriage pack might be a little like cultish. We'll have to see. Um, but I think that's a pretty good mix for, you know, I don't have very many books left on my shelf. This is what's left on my reading to zero shelf. These are books that I am still working on um, here in April because it's still April. So I haven't like kind of put those back in yet because I might read those before the end of the month. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks again for leaving me a prompt last month and don't forget to leave one for next month. And we'll see you guys very soon in another video soon. Bye everyone. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you